Okay, let's start. First, we'll click on Start Mechanical Design Sketcher. And you can name your file. I'm going to name it as Sketch04. Click OK. Select any plane which you want. And let's start with our sketch today. So for today, we're going to make this sketch. So first, we're going to make this outer circle of radius 45 and inner circle of radius 27.5. Let's get started. Double click. Make sure you always double click. It saves a lot of time. Okay. And we will dimension it right now. So for the first, uh, which is 27.5 and 45. 27.5 and 45. Twenty seven point five and forty five. For the next part, we will try to make these two circles. So which is at an angle of 30 axis. We have to create an axis. So 30 degree and 30 degree from left and right. So select double click on line. Select construction line. And you can make your line. Make sure that proper tracking is on and double click on constraints, switch this off and give it 30 degrees, 30. Thirty degree we have it over here. Now at the at this point we are supposed to make two circles of R18 and R10. So let's just make it over here and R10. R18 and R10. Okay. R18 and R10. Now we have to make it over here also. Dimension it. R18 and R10, R18 and R10. So we can see that there we have an aligned dimension from this center to this center, which is of 60 degree, uh, 60. Let's see 60. Now you can see that there is some problem with the dimension. So we are going to change the dimension of this circle, outer circle, and make it as 40. Okay, now it looks kind of like proper. Now the whole sketch has been turned green. Let's make the remaining portion. So first we'll make this, which is of 70, and this, which is of radius 5 and 70. So using the corner tool, we will make, make sure no trim is on. And here we go. Okay, double click. Yes, there we go. 17, five, and five. 17, 5, and 5. Yes. Now, first, we will now we'll trim it. Double click over here and let's trim it out. 
double click let's trim yes now this has been done now for the second thing now we'll just mirror it we will mirror it in mirror element you have to always click all the elements which you have to first mirror and then click on mirror then select this and that's it there you go it has been mirrored now for the remaining last part we just have to make these lines which is eight so for this we might use line double click on line and it's getting the tracking yes now you can see no tangent to it not parallel to it but <clears throat> see we're getting the tracking on just escape press escape and then try making it yes and uh, just delete this or else we can do one thing we will dimension it to be as parallel and we will say that the distance from here is 4 okay and now we'll offset it uh for offset click over here make sure that is click and offset just offset it to be as 8 just to make it more clear i'll drag it out and make it 8 okay now that is 8 and hide some of these to make it look clear yes for the last part we are just going to mirror everything by this one you have this then uh, first select the entities and then mirror if i click this oh sorry control z mirror and this is done now we can select both of these and mirror then your yes that's it now we'll mirror the remaining portions which is these two and select these click on mirror and mirror this mirror and mirror this that's it to make it look much more you can clean just switch off this geometrical the dimensional constraints and these are geometrical constraints and there you go thank you for watching